Hi everyone! Welcome back to another interesting Filipino language lesson here on Talk to Me in Tagalog. In this video, I will teach you the different meanings and functions of the Tagalog adverb na. This two-letter word plays a vital role in forming Filipino phrases and sentences. If you have been studying Tagalog, I'm sure that you oftentimes come across this word. Na, if combined with other words, could mean now and already. If the word na follows a Tagalog adjective, the phrase is used to describe the present state of someone or something as opposed to his or its previous condition. Here are some examples. Malinis na. Malinis na. Malinis means clean, but if you add na to form the phrase malinis na, it changes its meaning to it was dirty before, but now it's clean or it's clean now. Malinis na. Matandana. Matandana. Matanda means old. So matandana means old now. Young before, but because we are adding na to matanda, the meaning is old now. Matandana. Malamig na. Malamig na. Meaning, it was hot before, but it's cold now. Malamig na. Magaling na. Magaling na. Meaning, sick before, but now all well or all better. Magaling na. Mabango na. Mabango na. Meaning, stinky before, but smells good now or fragrant now. Mabango na. Malapit na. Malapit na. Meaning, still far before, but it's near now. Malapit na. If na follows a Tagalog verb in the past tense or past aspect, it means already, since it confirms that the action is already completed or done. For example, Nagwalis na ako, kaya malinis na ang sahig. Nagwalis na ako, kaya malinis na ang sahig. Nagwalis means swept with a broom. Ako is I, kaya is uh, that's why, and sahig is floor. Nagwalis na ako, kaya malinis na ang sahig. Meaning, I already swept the floor, that's why it's clean now. Since the action word nagwalis is in the past tense, na is added to confirm that the sweeping of the floor has already taken place. Next example, Kinain ko na ang lugaw kasi malamig na. Kinain ko na ang lugaw kasi malamig na. Kinain means ate, ko is I, and na is, as you already know, means already. Kinain ko na, meaning I already ate. Lugaw is porridge, kasi means because. Kinain ko na ang lugaw kasi malamig na. I already ate the porridge because it's already cold. Number three, walang jeep, nag-tricycle na kami. Walang jeep, nag-tricycle na kami. Wala means there's none. Nag-tricycle is took the tricycle. And kami means we. Walang jeep, nag-tricycle na kami. There's no jeep, we took the tricycle. Four, dumating na ang in-order ko online. Dumating na ang in-order ko online. The phrase dumating na means has arrived or already arrived. Dumating na ang in-order ko online. The item that I ordered online has arrived. If the Tagalog verb in the past aspect is followed by the pronoun ka and then by na and by the question particle ba, it means that the speaker is asking if the person he or she is talking to has already done something. Remember the pattern? Verb in past aspect plus ka plus na plus ba or verb ka na ba? Verb ka na ba? Question 1. Naligo ka na ba? Naligo ka na ba? Naligo means took a bath. So, naligo ka na ba means have you taken a bath? Answer 1. Oo, tapos na. Naligo na ako kanina. Mabango na ako. Oo, tapos na. Naligo na ako kanina. Mabango na ako. Oo means yes. Tapos na is I'm already done or I'm done. Naligo na means already took a bath. Kanina is earlier. Oo, tapos na. Naligo na ako kanina. Mabango na ako. Yes, I'm done. I already took a bath earlier. I smell good now. Question 2. Nakapunta ka na ba sa Cebu? Nakapunta ka na ba sa Cebu? 
Nakapunta means went or have been to a place. And Cebu is a well-known tourist destination in the Visayas region of the Philippines. Nakapunta ka na ba sa Cebu? Have you been to Cebu? Answer 2. Oo, nakapunta na ako doon. Or, oo, nakarating na ako doon. Nakapunta and nakarating are the same. They both mean already went or have been there. And doon means there. Oo, nakapunta na ako doon. Oo, nakarating na ako doon. Yes, I have been there. To ask someone whether or not a third person has already done something, you may use this sentence pattern. Tagalog verb in the past aspect plus na plus ba plus Tagalog personal marker si before the third person's name. Or verb na ba si blank? Verb na ba si blank? Question 1. Nagsipilyo na ba si Scott? Nagsipilyo na ba si Scott? Nagsipilyo means brushed one's teeth. So the phrase nagsipilyo na means already brushed one's teeth. So this question is like I'm asking you if uh, Scott already brushed his teeth. Nagsipilyo na ba si Scott? Has Scott brushed his teeth? Answer 1. Oo, nagtoothbrush na siya kanina lang. Oo, nagtoothbrush na siya kanina lang. The meaning of nag-toothbrush na is very obvious, so I will just tell you what kani-kanina lang means. Kani-kanina lang is just a while ago. Kani-kanina lang. Oo, nag-toothbrush na siya kani-kanina lang. Yes, he brushed his teeth just a while ago. Question 2. Nakasakay na ba ng eroplano si Leo? Nakasakay na ba ng eroplano si Leo? Nakasakay means road and eroplano is plane. Nakasakay na ba ng eroplano si Leo? Has Leo ever been on a plane? Answer 2. Oo, nakapag-eroplano na siya noong isang taon. Oo, nakapag-eroplano na siya noong isang taon. Nakapag-eroplano na means has already been in an airplane and noong isang taon means last year. Oo, nakapag-eroplano na siya noong isang taon. Yes, she already flew last year. The word na is also used to connect an adjective and a noun, and vice versa. Na combines the modifier and the word being modified. Please note that the modifier that precedes na must end with a consonant. Take a look at our examples. All the words before na end with a consonant. Malungkot na kwento. Malungkot is sad and kwento is a story. In English, you can simply say sad story. But it's different in Filipino. Since the adjective malungkot ends with a consonant T, you have to put na between the word it describes for the phrase to make sense. Malungkot na kwento, a sad story. The same goes for sugat na malalim. Sugat means wound and malalim is deep. Sugat ends with a T, so let's add na to connect it with malalim. Sugat na malalim, a deep wound. Did you notice that I also underlined the last letter of malalim? It's because since both of these two words end with a consonant, they can be interchangeable but the meaning stays the same. So it is also correct to say malalim na sugat, malalim na sugat, which is synonymous to sugat na malalim, a deep wound. Our next example is magaspang na kamay. Magaspang na kamay. Magaspang is rough. Kamay is hand. Magaspang na kamay. Again, these two words end with a consonant so they can be interchangeable. Kamay na magaspang. Kamay na magaspang. Meaning, a rough hand. Mabigat na problema. Mabigat na problema. The word mabigat means heavy but since we're talking about problema which is problem, the correct translation is serious. Mabigat na problema, a serious problem. Makinis na balat. Makinis na balat. Makinis means smooth and balat is a skin. Again, they are both ending with a consonant so we can also say balat na makinis. Balat na makinis meaning smooth skin. Mapait na gamot. Mapait na gamot. Or... Gamot na mapait. Gamot na mapait. Mapait is bitter and gamot is medicine or pill. 
mapait na gamot, a bitter pill or a bitter medicine. Nakakatakot na kaaway. Nakakatakot na kaaway. Nakakatakot is a scary or tough and kaaway is enemy. Nakakatakot na kaaway. A scary or tough enemy. If na follows the negative words hindi meaning not, ayoko or do not like, and wala or none, its meaning changes to anymore. So hindi na means not anymore, ayoko na is I don't like or I don't want something anymore, and wala na is no more. Our first example is hindi na kami magbibitch. Hindi na kami magbibitch. Kami is we and magbibitch means we'll go to the beach. Hindi na kami magbibitch. We are not going to the beach anymore. Two, ayoko na, busog na ako. Ayoko na, busog na ako. Busog na means already full and ko is the contracted form of ako meaning I. Since we are talking about being full here, ayoko na means I don't want to eat anymore. Ayoko na, busog na ako. I don't want to eat anymore. I'm already full. Three, wala na akong magagawa. Wala na akong magagawa. Magagawa is to do something like a solution to a problem. But since we are using wala na, this becomes a negative sentence. Wala na akong magagawa. I can't do anything anymore. Our next example is something that is not nice to say to someone who is uh, struggling with weight. Kahit anong exercise mo, hindi ka napapayat. Kahit anong exercise mo, hindi ka napapayat. The phrase kahit anong in this example means no matter how much or no matter what you do, and papayat is to get thin or to lose weight. Kahit anong exercise mo, hindi ka napapayat. No matter how much you exercise, you're not going to lose weight anymore. Here's a real-life scenario between a couple who are at each other's throats. Please note how the word na is used in every sentence. The girl says, Nakakainis ka na, hindi na ako natutuwa sa'yo. Nakakainis ka na, hindi na ako natutuwa sa'yo. Nakakainis ka na means you're being annoying now. Natutuwa is uh, to be fond and sa'yo is of you. Nakakainis ka na, hindi na ako natutuwa sa'yo. You're annoying, I'm not fond of you anymore. Lagi ka na lang lasing. Lagi ka na lang lasing. Lagi means always and lasing is drunk. Lagi ka na lang lasing. You're always drunk. And the boy says, Ah, ganun ba? Pues, maghiwalay na tayo. Ah, ganun ba? Pues, maghiwalay na tayo. Ganun ba means is that so? Pues is a uh, then. Maghiwalay is to go on separate ways or to break up and tayo means us. Ah, ganun ba? Pues, maghiwalay na tayo. Oh, is that so? Well then, let's break up. Ayoko na sayo. Ayoko na sayo. Ayoko na, as you have learned before, means do not like anymore and iyo or yo is you. Ayoko na sayo. I don't like you anymore. Palagi ka nalang galit. Palagi ka nalang galit. Palagi is the same as lagi, which means always, and galit is angry. Palagi ka nalang galit. You're always angry. Hindi na kita tatawagan. Hindi na kita tatawagan. Hindi na, as you may recall, means not anymore and tatawagan is will call. Hindi na kita tatawagan, meaning I will not call you anymore. Hindi na rin kita pupuntahan. Hindi na rin kita pupuntahan. Pupuntahan is to go to someone or to someone's place. Hindi na rin kita pupuntahan. I will not go to your place anymore. And the girl bravely says, Edi wag, ayaw ko na rin sa'yo. Edi wag, ayaw ko na rin sa'yo. Edi wag means, then don't. And ayaw ko na rin sa'yo is, I don't like you anymore either. So, you guessed it right. There's no happily ever after between these two. Here are some short Tagalog expressions with na that you may use in appropriate situations. Wala na. Wala na. Meaning, no more. Or, ubus na, ubus na, used up or has already ran out. Ako na, ako na, meaning, it's my turn. It also means, I'll do it instead of someone else. Ako na, ako na. 
Hindi nakasha. Hindi nakasha. It means it doesn't fit anymore. This is uh, usually used uh, when you're talking about clothes or anything that you wear that do not fit anymore. Kulang na. Kulang na. Meaning it's insufficient na or it's not enough anymore. Kulang na. Patay na. Patay na. Meaning already dead. Hindi bale na lang. Hindi bale na lang. Meaning it's all right, never mind. Hindi bale na lang. May asawa ka na ba? May asawa ka na ba? Meaning are you already married? May asawa ka na ba? Nakalimutan ko na. Nakalimutan ko na. I already forgot. Hindi ka na katulad ng dati. Hindi ka na katulad ng dati. Katulad is the same and dati means before or previous. Hindi ka na katulad ng dati. You're not the same person as before. Nagbago ka na. Nagbago ka na. Meaning, you have already changed. Nagbago ka na. If you're new to this channel, please don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon below so you will get notified every time I upload a new lesson. That's all for now. Please subscribe to my channel for more Tagalog language lessons. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and I'll see you again very soon. Maraming salamat po!